Some of you watching may not know this, but many of YouTube's classic viral video uploads are just straight up stolen. Take for example Cyber Goth Dance Party, a classic. It's got 17 million views. Well, this video was actually ripped and re-uploaded from an actual Cyber Goth's YouTube channel known as Gothic Ike. He's never been properly credited in the 17 million version. And then there's the infamous Ricardo Milos dance video. This was actually ripped from a paywalled adult entertainment website over a decade ago. Accounts allegedly associated with Ricardo aren't too happy about this being on YouTube. I'd be willing to wager that most of you watching have seen this video at some point while browsing the internet. The He-Man Sing slash Hey Yay hey, hey video. It's got almost 200 million views. It's a classic viral video and internet meme. But what few of you know is that this video and its creators are the victims of what I like to consider the greatest heist in internet meme history. Today I'll be telling you the shady story behind the He-Man Sings video, how it was essentially stolen from its creators and plastered onto YouTube without any credit given. And when the creators tried to reclaim their work and simply get proper credit, they were berated by the YouTube community. This is the story behind the greatest heist in internet meme history, the theft of He-Man Sings. Before we get into this heist, a brief message from today's sponsor, Native. Native is men and women's hygiene products simplified. Personally, I'm a big fan of their deodorants. Their aluminum-free and paraben-free sticks feel fantastic on the pits. Citrus and herbal musk has a nice woodsy base fragrance with a slight hint of orange zest. It's one of my favorites. Charcoal has a rich, earthy smell to it with a hint of soap. It's really good. My top pick from the bunch is the sea salt and cedar. I love the smell of cedar, and it's definitely here. Highly recommend you guys try this one out. A lot of store-bought deodorant gets slimy when it's sweat tested and it doesn't smell great for long. Native, it lasts all day keeping you odor free 24 hours. I've had no issues with this in my experience. Native offers other products like body wash and toothpaste. Their coconut vanilla body wash feels amazing on the skin and is probably the best smelling coconut scented product I've ever had. A lot of coconut products have that generic pina colada smell, not this. It's legit, trust me. Native products are vegan and they offer non plastic packaged versions of their deodorants for those interested. Three deodorants would be $39, but if you use my link and code WAVYWEB, you'll get them for $26. That's over 33% off. With my code, you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. So click that link down below. Now let's get back to the greatest meme heist in history. The story of this He-Man heist begins all the way back in 2003. On E-Bombs World, a G.I. Joe parody series created by Fensler Films was going viral. Commonly known as the G.I. Joe PSA spoofs, these dubbed over G.I. Joe shorts became one of the first well-known internet-based remix series to exist. Pork chop sandwiches! Go oh, shit! Get the fuck out of here! What are you doing? Go! Get the fuck out of here, you stupid idiot! Fensler's parodies were arguably some of the first viral videos to exist on the internet. Unfortunately, he was forced to stop making them after receiving cease and desist letters from Hasbro, marking the end of the series after 25 episodes. But even though Fensler Films was gone, 1980s cartoon parody remixes would still thrive on the internet. As Fensler's work would go on to inspire new creators, creators like Ryan Haynes and Jay Allen of Slack Circus Studios. This was the creative duo that would go on to make one of the most recognized pieces of internet media to ever exist. Fabulous Secret Powers, also known as the Hey Yay hey, Yay hey video slash He-Man Sings. Not only was it funny, it was a catchy cover in its own right. And he prays! Oh my god, do I pray? started looking at Prince Adam with his pink tunic and his purple tights and I'm like, well, what if we just made the gayest video ever? Fabulous Secret Powers would enjoy moderate popularity on the Something Awful forums, granting Slack Circus Studios minor internet celebrity status within the forum's walls, whatever that's worth. Like we were just like paralyzed with laughter. Uh, after we started. That was a great sign. <laughs> it's a great sign. Like, I, yeah. I don't know if anybody's going to love this, but we love this a lot. Speaking of Slack Circus Studios, if you're familiar with He-Man Sings, you might notice something different about their original version. It has an intro that clearly credits Slack Circus as the creators, and there's a Slack Circus watermark on the bottom right corner throughout the duration of the video. 
Keep this in mind as we move forward in time and enter the wild wild west of YouTube, a place where the seeds of the biggest meme heist of all time would be sown. When YouTube came out in 2005, it wouldn't take long for folks to realize the future of online video was in its domain. And with that said, old internet content creators who failed to move to YouTube in its early fledgling days would be punished. How, you might be asking? Well, by missing out on views thanks to freebooters taking their videos and re-uploading them to YouTube before the original creators could do it themselves. This is exactly what would end up happening to Slack Circus. See, they wouldn't create their YouTube channel until 2007, which left ample time for freebooters to upload differing versions of their fabulous Secret Powers video. It's free real estate. Freebooted re-uploads pose a problem for creators like this, especially small ones like Slack Circus. As not only are you missing out on views, the re-uploads almost always fail to properly attribute the original creator of the work. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. And if re-uploads are allowed to spread unchecked, eventually you find yourself in a situation where viewers that are coming to these videos don't actually know that you're the person who made it. It becomes difficult to find the original creators of the work. Fortunately for Slack Circus, their watermark featured in the bottom right hand corner helped to lessen the damage of re-uploads to a small degree in these early days of freebooting, but there was still damage done. Eventually Ryan and Jay would discover that re-uploads of their video were taking off on YouTube, so they hastily created a Slack Circus channel and put their own version of Fabulous Secret Powers on the side. But by this point, it was already too late. All the re-uploads were beating it out in the algorithm because they had first mover advantage. And if you thought this was bad, it only gets worse. Several years later in 2010, Slack Circus would make one of the biggest mistakes they've ever made in regard to the management of their video. They uploaded an original unwatermarked version of Fabulous Secret Powers to a video hosting website called Vimeo. They then made the second mistake of enabling the download source video feature on the upload making it so anybody that went to this video could just download like a raw file of the video and well people did that exactly because of this folly by slack circus an unwatermarked version of their fabulous secret powers video was now floating around on the internet and it would eventually fall into the hands of a now infamous youtuber known as proto of snagum Nobody knows exactly who Proto of Snagum is, but he just might be the most successful freebooter in YouTube history. In November of 2010, Proto of Snagum made the maverick decision to upload an unwatermarked version of Fabulous Secret Powers to YouTube. Not only that, he cut out the introduction portion of the video in the process, essentially getting rid of any sort of credit attributing Slack Circus to the work. Rather, Proto of Snagum's edited upload just jumps right into He-Man singing and dancing, which is admittedly the most compelling part. Slack Circus had been fighting for years to wrangle in their creation that got away from them in the early years of YouTube, but they had never gone up against anything like Proto of Snagum. This edited down version of Fabulous Secret Powers on Proto of Snagum's channel would become so popular that any ties to the original creators would essentially be lost in the public consciousness. For all the internet knew, Proto of Snagum was the original creator of this He-Man remix. The internet would know nothing of Slack Circus or Fabulous Secret Powers, they only knew what Snagum titled his freebooted re-upload. Hey, yay, yay, yay. In just a span of two years, Snagum's re-upload of Slack Circus's song had racked up 26 million views, and Slack Circus's version? It only had 390,000 views, and it had been up since 2007. Yep, not only did they get screwed out of views, nobody knew they were the creators of this iconic piece of internet history. Naturally, the boys over at Slack Circus start to get a little bit frustrated. Slack Circus would reach out to Proto of Snagum on several occasions using YouTube's direct message messaging system, asking Snagum if he or she could credit them in the description box. They tried contacting this person through DMs for over a year and never got any kind of reply. Frustrated, out of options, and feeling as if their magnum opus had been stolen from them, eventually they made the difficult decision to issue a DMCA takedown request on Proto of Snagum's re-upload of their video. On November 14th of 2012, hey yay yeah, yeah, one of the most popular videos on YouTube was removed from Proto of Snagum's channel. 
and in its place would be an ugly copyright takedown notice informing all who wanted to watch the video that it was no longer available due to a copyright claim by Slack Circus Studios LLC. Slack Circus would then upload their own abbreviated version of He-Man Sings to their YouTube channel on the same day. Now, of course, when this takedown happened, nobody knew who the hell Slack Circus Studios was. Who are these bastards trying to ruin the internet by taking down He-Man Sings, right? Many assumed that these Slack Circus guys had falsely taken down Proto of Snagum's video and that they were just trying to ruin the fun for everyone. Yes, the actual creators of this video were being accused of stealing their own work. Many YouTube viewers were also upset because Snagum's video had tens of thousands of viewers submitted comments some considered important to internet history. These comments were now gone. After the video went down on Snagum's channel, people saw Slack Circus was responsible and they flooded into the channel to leave negative comments and just air out their frustrations. For the internet's sake, please just let the video stay on Proto's channel, for our sake. Dude, this isn't the original. The version by photo of Snagum came out two years before this one. What the fuck, man? Please, I'm begging you to let Proto of Snagum keep the video. Please. Please, I'm begging you, dude. I have commented on his video every day for one year. It's like a tradition to me. I had a 46 day comment streak. I'm begging dude, please, I'm begging, please man. After seeing the shitstorm that this copyright takedown had created, Slack Circus would eventually capitulate to the masses. And just one day after issuing the strike, they repealed it and brought back Proto of Snagum's video. And Proto of Snagum's free booted, abbreviated copy of their work was once again alive and well and it remains up to this day. Today, Proto Snagum's copy of Slack Circus's Fabulous Secret Powers video has close to 200 million views, and Slack Circus's original versions only have about 4.1 million combined. Yeah, doesn't seem all too fair, does it? Proto of Snagum has never given credit directly to Slack Circus, and Snagum's channel is presumably now abandoned. Despite being responsible for one of the most famous YouTube videos of all time, Slack Circus has never truly gotten the credit they deserve for creating such an influential piece of internet culture. While they did miss out on a lot of views and name recognition, they would eventually start getting some monetary compensation for the song that they created. As Slack Circus would eventually register the Hey Yeah Yeah song into TuneCore, which automatically claims royalties off of re-uploads. This small compensation pales in comparison though to what could have been. If only Slack Circus had that 200 million viewed version of their own creation on their own YouTube channel. Jay Allen, the main vocalist in He-Man Sings, has somehow avoided becoming cynical throughout all of this. This is his reflection on the event and his thoughts on the heist of fabulous secret powers. I don't know, because it, it seems like when you watch your videos now, and I read, like, you know, the, the descriptions of things you have in videos, that you've kind of come around to a more positive view of it all like do you feel that you are are it's more about just continuing the nature of sharing the nature of conversation is that really kind of where you've landed on in in how you feel about uh about the whole story that has a lot to do with it for sure just the 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 nature of sharing and the fact that i i think that's a positive thing but but also um i don't know if this is just getting older or just having been on the internet for like half of my life, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, there's a lot of anger on the internet, you know, there's a, just a lot of, we're exposed to just some terrible things all of the time and people, yeah. people getting upset about the most meaningless things all the time mm -hmm. and trolls and bullying and all that stuff. And, um, my view is this video is, is like the silliest thing ever. And <laughs> I like to think of it as because you know, people leave comments all the time. I was having a bad day, or when I'm having a bad day, I come and watch this video. That makes my day. That's fantastic. That, yeah. I believe, is the point, is to make somebody's day better or to inspire them to do something. If you're not using the internet to do that, you're interneting incorrectly, in my opinion. <laughs> Despite having their work stolen from them, Slack Circus has used restraint in response to the unfortunate circumstances dealt to them. Hell, right now they could go on an aggressive takedown spree and purge all of the re-uploads of their video and funnel traffic to their channel, but they just don't do it. Rather, they seem content to just let fabulous secret powers be a property of the collective internet itself. And it also doesn't hurt to get that TuneCore money either. 
but still, I just can't help but feel bad for them for never really getting the credit they deserve. And that is part of the reason why I made this video. At least now, there's something out there that sets the record straight and lays out the story of how the Slack Circus Boys created one of the most, if not the most famous song slash video remixes on the internet. That is the story of He-Man Sings, the greatest heist in internet meme history. Make sure you check out the Slack Circus YouTube channel, the link is down in the description box. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down below in the comments section and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys, wavy web surf out, peace.